Yo, what's up man? Selamat datang dan selamat kembali to another episode of Do It Live The quick and easy way for you to win money Right on your mobile phone It's your boy man, Sean LJE I hope you guys had a wonderful day After making it through hump day yesterday though But before we start my friends Apa kata you all ajak all your friends And your family and your colleagues, your bosses to play together though Cause the more, the merrier friends Let's do this Kalau first time main Do It Live, jangan risau Abang akan ajar ya Kalau first time main Do It Live First, a question will pop up on your screen dan anda ada 10 saat untuk dapat jawapan yang betul. Get all the answers right and today you stand a chance to win 4,000 ringgit! <coughs> Kalau tak menang, jangan risau babe. Sekarang kita boleh ikut je and get points. Semua soalan kita ada points based on how difficult they are. And with those points, with those points you can redeem rewards. You can check it out in the reward section yang ada sign hadiah tu. Nampak tak? Sekarang memang tak nampak lah Tapi ada je nanti kalau, kalau tengok kan Okay Alright Tapi kalau korang rasa tak puas je You still need one more money though You still want to win real money man Then we will be back tonight With Do It Loud This week Kawan-kawan It's all about memes Okay With one team question a day And a team game On Friday Friday is full on meme day Alright uh, Do It Loud pun nanti akan ada Full on meme game tonight So get your uh, Meme songs ready You know what I mean Kena sedia lah guys Get your pusos ready also by inviting your friends. Macam mana, Sean? Macam mana nak, nak dapat puso ni? Abang dah ajar dah banyak kali. Your username, man. When you go to the home screen, press the heart on the upper right there. Boom. Tekan tu, press it and pass it to everyone. Semua instruction ada kat sana. Ikut je. Diorang kena main satu game dulu, baru you dengan member anda akan dapat puso. This one is only for first time sign up sahaja. Okay, man. Only one puso can be used per game and you cannot use it during the SPG of the day. Which is the final question. Soalan paling gila lah, guys. Semalam, apa jadi, man, dengan saya? Saya punya fokus, uh, walaupun tak sampai sangat, kuranglah 100, 200 macam tu. We had 1,400 winners! <coughs> Boom! Memang my predictions agak on point. Sikit je on point. Tapi hari ni saya nak predict, predict lagi. Berapa ramai pemenang. But before that, Let's check out some of your reactions yesterday. Ni kau menang lagi. Ai menang tak? Shazali 08 man Hafiz. Menang menang. Menang menang. Wow man, wow reaction korang ni semua memang nyala Memang nyala sangat Ada juga yang main tukar-tukar jawapan eh <tuk> Tak tahu mana ni, tak tahu mana <tuk> Ini mini money mo pula Power lah, keep sending your reactions Keep sending us your reactions and tag us At jomdoit dan gunakan hashtag jomdoit And also man, this week do it for the lulz right? L-U-L-Z Kalau ada soalan, shout out, you cash out your money You wanna buy yoga mat let us know, man, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and boys, girls, kawan-kawan, kalau nampak benda wifi ni kat atas ni, this thing is important, man. Pastikan dia selalu hijau, ya. Yeah? Kalau merah, korang kena tukar internet provider korang. Cik, tak ada saya saja je. Carilah tempat yang ada signal yang kuat sikit. Okay, as of right now, my friends, tepat pada masa macam biasa, we have a total amount of... Give me second, give me second, give me second, give me second. 15,000 players, man! That's what's up! You guys stand a chance to win 4,000 ringgit! Woo! Boom! Kawan-kawan, dah sedia ke belum? Jom, kita start dengan soalan nombor satu. Question number one. Haiwan mana antara berikut bukan mamalia? Is it A, kuda, B, itik, ataupun C, tupai? Ini kalau orang-orang dapat soalan ni salah, saya tak tahu apa nak cakap. Betul? Sebab mungkin saya akan dapat jawapan yang salah untuk soalan ni. <laughs> Mammals ini uh, itu haiwan mamalia. Alright, man. Yang berdarah panas macam kita manusia, kita pun berdarah panas, kan? Unless you're Aquaman. Aquaman is like a fish, you know? And cold-blooded, man. Uh, but Aquaman do it is the most warmest person I ever known, man. Even if he's, if he's a fish, he's still my bro, though. Alright, if you haven't watched our story yet, go and check it out on the IGTV and Jom Do It punya. Kita punya ni memang... <sighs> Tight lah, tight lah. Jawapan yang betul untuk soalan nombor satu, kawan-kawan ku, semestinya. B. Duck is the correct answer. Boom! Ducks are classified as birds because they have feathers and lay eggs. Haiwan mamalia hanya mempunyai rambut, kulit dan bulu. Ducks can get aggressive and attack each other though. Usually the males, they will fight each other as they want to impress the females. 
Jom kita teruskan ke soalan nombor dua Question number two Let's do this man Jalan Petaling juga dikenali sebagai apa? Is it A. Little India B. Uptown Or C. Chinatown Petaling Street man Also known as a place to bring tourists You have to bring your tourist friends there dude You have to bring them there man It's one of the tourist attractions though It is a place where the hustling and the busting never comes to an end Betul There's almost everything there though Every other cheap stuff that you can get there Petaling Street is known for selling Imitation goods like handbags, wallets, watches, shoes from brands like Adidas, Louis Vuitton, Calvin Klein, Nike and so on man Tapi nama dia tukar sikit Mungkin Adidas jadi Asadi ke Louis Vuitton jadi Louis Mungkon ke Tak tahulah Calvin Klein jadi um, Johnny Klein ke Kita tak tahu man, banyak benda yang pelik Jawapan yang betul kawan-kawan untuk soalan nombor 2 Semestinya C Chinatown is the correct answer <laughs> RM lim, se, apa ni? 11 juta <laughs> I almost forgot how to say 11 in bahasa tu 11 juta telah dilaburkan untuk memperbaruhi memperbaruhi tempat ini pada tahun 2003 alright two large chinese uh, arches uh, were placed at both ends of the street to welcome visitors and a green roof cover uh, dubbed as the green dragon that was constructed to cover the whole street tu. a lot of meaning man chinese people a lot of meaning tu Jom, kita teruskan ke soalan nombor tiga. Question nombor tiga. Dalam dunia corporate, apakah maksud singkatan HR? Is it A. Handling relationships? B. Heavy rotation? Ataupun C. Human resources? First things first. When you want to get a job, you contact HR. Am I right? HR duties include planning, recruitment, selection process, evaluating the performance of the employees, scheduling interviews, assisting in the process, and ensuring background checks, and banyak lagi. Tanpa HR ni, we won't all be here though. So we want to say thank you to Iza because you're the bomb. Gitu. <laughs> hey, she's our HR person lah. Alright. Dia, uh, anak nak buat jokes sebenarnya tapi tak nak lah. Jawapan yang betul untuk soalan nombor tiga. Semestinya C. Human resources is the correct answer. Bang! Tahu tak kenapa saya tak nak buat joke? Sebab nanti saya kena pecat, babe. Dia HR kot. Jangan main-main dengan HR. HR stands for human resources and refers to those who staff and operate an organization. Okay? Mereka juga bertanggungjawab menasihati kaki tangan kanan mengenangi kesan keputusan mereka terhadap kaki tangan kita. So, kalau kita ada problem tapu hati, I uh, can call Iza. No, Iza, something is wrong right now. Though. I'm, I think... Uh, Suddenly Azro, he don't want to be my bro anymore, man. It's affecting my job right now. So you better work something out with him macam tu. If you have problems with your clicks, you can call HR though. They can help you out. Jom, kita teruskan ke soalan nombor empat. Question number four. Apakah nama watak Mahir Shalah Ali dalam filem Green Book? Is it A. Dr. Don Shirley? B. Dr. Ron Weasley? Or C. Dr. John Snow, alright? This movie is called Green Book and won three Oscars award this year dude, for the best picture, best supporting actor and the best original screenplay. This movie memang
Oh, macam ni je. Sprinkle till you make it guys. Sebab jawapan yang betul. Lepas dia potong benda tu. Baling dia punya daging. Ambil salt dia. Put it on top of the steak. Y'all see is the correct answer. Boom! Video asal sebenarnya dimuat naik pada laman Instagram dia sendiri. Turkish chef Nusret uh, God uh, was seen sprinkling salt on a carved steak, alright? A flamboyant, in a flamboyant manner in a video though, which went viral. Dia macam ni. Dah lah, dia sadar guys. Kan, dia macam pelik kan. Alright man, he also has a signature look. White shirt, black pants and shades on though. Not to forget, boom, the ponytail as well and the moustache though. Jom, kita teruskan ke soalan nombor 6. Question number 6. Singkatan. Rapper, mana katalah memenangi paling banyak anugerah Grammy? Is it A, J, Lil Wayne, right? Memang a big deal, alright, kalau menang a Grammy for Music Awards. Semestinya kalau ini... Alright, but if you know who's not a musician but uh, but won a Grammy, Barack Obama do. Betul, he got nominated twice. And won twice as well for the best spoken word album, which includes poetry, audiobooks, and storytelling. Do so, what are they best, guys? So, not to tune je, boleh cuba untuk kategori ni. Sebab jawapan yang betul untuk soalan nombor tujuh semestinya A. J. Boom. That's what's up, man. Before this year's ceremony, Jay Z and Kanye West were tied. Each. Jay-Z now has 22 awards selepas memenangi Best Urban Contemporary Album Untuk album ni, Everything Is Love though. Teruskan ke soalan nombor 8 With almost 17,000 players, man Let's do this Siapakah yang menyanyi lagu tema Pontianak Harum Sundal Malam? Saya tahu sebenarnya Is it A. Siti Nurhaliza B. Dayang Nur Faiza Or C. Misha Omar Okay. Siapa, siapa tak pernah tengok? Saya tak pernah tengok. Saya terus terang. Saya 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 tak pernah tengok. Siapa tak pernah tengok kat sini? Semua pun tak pernah tengok. Dah agak dah. Dah agak dah. Korang memang dah tak solat tapi tak tengok pun movie ni. This movie is obviously a horror movie guys. Pontianak are rumored to be spirits of women uh, who were perished during pregnancy tu. <coughs> Scary ni. Jawapan yang betul untuk soalan nombor 8 kawan-kawan semestinya Misha Omar. Film ini telah mendapat pengiktirafan di Festival Film Malaysia ke-17. Alright. Estepona International Film Festival of Fantasy and Ta Terror. Alright. Dan Festival Film Asia Pacific ke-49. Its box office sales reached 3.2 million ringgit. With a sequel, sequel will, was released in 2005. It starred Maya Karin, Rosham Noor, Aziz Sattar, Nanu Bahadin. Dan ramai lagi artis yang terkenal. Speaking about Maya Karin though, that day... I saw her in FFM 30 tau. I know man, she's a bit older kan. Tapi dia nampak lawa gila tu. She still looks so young when I see her in person tu. I was like, whoa. Hi Maya. Cantik ni lah. Ha? Cakap, eh hey, takde, biasa-biasa je. Itu bukan. Itu dah BBB ni. 
Jom kita teruskan ke soalan nombor sembilan Terpesong kejap Question nombor nine man Syarikat mana yang membeli Equanimity Wow Such big words tu Is it Berhad Or B Syme Darby Or C Berjaya Corporation tu Equanimity Masih ingat right Equanimity The length of the yard man Is 91.1 Five zero meters, though. That's like hard that lah. Plus minus lah. The yard is topped up with a jacuzzi on deck, sauna, helicopter landing pad, swimming pool, beach club on the yard, man. Beauty salon, gym, spa, elevator, movie theater pun ada, man. Steam room, bath, ada beauty room, underwater lights, kitchen, and also a study room. I don't know what the study room is for lah. What you gonna study there on the boat kan? Benda lain lah apa lagi. Jawapan yang betul untuk soalan nombor sembilan. So, mestinya. Asia Berhad is the correct answer. Genting will pay USD 126 million to the court which will be channeled to the government of Malaysia though. That's over 500 million ringgit though. It was on sale for 8 months. The longest yard in the world uh, is named Azam. And it's 180 meters and it's owned by Sheikh Khalifa, the president of UAE. Kawan-kawan, dengan itu kita nak teruskan ke soalan nombor 10, question number 10. Wow, banyaknya orang pandai hari ni. Dah, for, dah almost 4,000 eh. So, prediction saya macam mana? Bagi masa sekejap, saya nak fikir ke lepas ni. Question number 10 though, let's do this. Perkataan sarcasm berasal dari perkataan Greek yang membawa maksud apa dalam bahasa English? Is it A, to have confidence? B, to tear flesh? What? C, to be rude? What? <laughs> Guys, sarcasm is basically an art of using a humorous insult to humble or criticize someone. Though. It's like when someone says, Eh, nak sikit ayu boleh tak? Then you say, Eh, tak apa, ambil lah. Memang aku nak beli untuk kau pun. Ah, macam tu, that's sarcasm lah kan. Macam tak ikhlas lah nak bagi tapi tak nak bagi macam tu kan. Faham tak? Saya tahu speaking ni bahasa English memang susah kadang-kadang. Saya pun tak faham. Saya prefer Melayu juga kadang-kadang. You know what I mean? Hey, I, kita member ke? Kita member. Jawapan yang betul untuk soalan nombor 10. Semestinya B to tear flesh tu. <coughs> Sarcasm comes from the Greek word sarcasin. Alright, ia bermaksud sindiran atau ejekan. Nampaknya soalan nombor 10 is our first Roblox of the day. Man, man, boys and girls, memang gila betul. Uh, nampaknya ada 1,500, but they are going to use a puso, so there's 4,000 people alive. I rasa hari ni, untuk SPG, orang yang akan menang ada 2, 2,000. 2,000 and 2,100. 2,100, alright man. Dengar itu, 2,100 of you, let's go man, to the SPG! Guys, guys, guys. SPG though, abang nak tolong 2,100 of you will win though Siapa lagi? Okay, let's do this Bilakah Malaysia bertanding dalam sukan Olimpik buat kali pertama? Oh my god, aku rasa tak sampai ni 2001 <laughs> Is it A, 1964? B, 1984? Or C, 2004? Man, guys! Don't disappoint me though, start googling right now man I want 2100 though, kalau dapat ni I'm going to get free lunch after this though guys. Please, you don't have to pay. Don't cheat at Hey, my man. Did you guys know that the rings on the Olympic flag uh, design is symbolic, right? It represents the five continents of the world united by Olymp Olympism, right? While the six colors are those that appear on all national flags of the world at the present time. Tapi hosting is not a sport, man. <laughs> I wish it was though. I wish it was. I wish it was. Jawapan yang betul untuk SPG hari ini kawan-kawan Dan saya nak ucapkan tanya kepada 2100 winners today Sebab jawapan yang betul ialah A 1964 is the correct answer Boo! This year was the first appearance as Malaysia Prior to that was known as Malaya What? What? Half of that man? Oi guys guys memang tak boleh lah ni with the, ex with the exception of uh, the 1980 Summer Olympics, Malaysia athletes have competed in every uh, Summer Olympics since then though. Sejak 2018, 
Malaysia juga mengambil bahagian dalam sukan Olimpik musim sejuk. And that, my besties, was the last question of the day. You guys were such good sport. We have a total amount that was quite disappointing to me. It is 1,295 winners! Shout out sikit pada kawan-kawan kita. 1,295 man. Not even close to my prediction though. Zinu, Ikan Moose, uh, Maria3001, Sid Global, Felix Yo, Lucid Moon, uh, banyak lagi nama-nama yang pelik, Jake Zimer, Ken Sniper, Slazo, Shafika pemenang, Sarah Kamil, Zikron, Iza, Fatin Erma, Elja Lintuk Nok Ferlano. Congratulations to you guys, man. You all win your share of Terbaik guys, your money and your points will be in your account 30 minutes or 1 hour after the game no? So let Lou, alright man Let us know questions, any problems, shout outs macam biasa juga Or you wanna teach me how to dance, alright Let me know man on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter Don't worry kalau kalah, we will be back tonight with Do It Loud Nama saya Sean LJE, don't forget to work hard and dream big though guys Kita akan jumpa malam ini dengan siapa weh Sachi ada Dengan Guest Special guest Haa nantilah korang Siap korang <laughs>